trying to make contemporary hats. And so I'm trying to challenge people's perception of what a hat can look like. I like to make beautiful hats. So I'm inspired by beauty and elegance. I think that is where I'm coming from. The celebrity culture is part of what we do, from Lady Gaga to Prince Charles' wife, and everybody else in between. A mum going to a wedding, somebody going to the races, or an international celebrity. Everybody's looking for the same thing. Everybody wants to look good, and hats make people look better. When I start from a sketch, I am taking a two-dimensional idea into three dimensions. So I will make this, and then the block maker will carve exactly what I give him in wood. So I'm using the materials to draw shapes and proportions and lines. Everything that surrounds us is a shape, so the possibilities are endless. <laughs> this is our studio, this is where we make everything. We make everything by hand. And it's all hand work, so there is no machinery. Hats are an illusion, you know, it's supposed to look effortless and easy, but in fact, it's not as simple as it looks. It's racing season, so this is our big uh, hat moment of the year, when everyone decides what they wear to the races. You kind of match the hat with the personality of the person. Everybody likes the idea of having something special just for them. But with models, it's slightly different because models make everything look good. You know, Jodie has a very sculptural face, so it uh, lends itself to hats. My hats are not necessarily known for their subtlety, but yeah, I, I can make very subtle hats too. <laughs> but every one is completely different, so we have to be inventive. Fashion is about new. It's about people want to see something that they've never seen before or has never been invented. And that's what makes you continue, really, because you're always interested in the next thing you're going to do. You know, I'm very lucky to have an opportunity to influence how people see hats in the 21st century. You know, people always ask me if I prefer to have been a hat designer in the 50s or in the 30s or the 20s. But actually, it's more exciting to be a hat designer today because I can do whatever I want.